hi guys welcome to the next video of the stus2 tutorial series in this video we will talk about how stus2 supports internationalization before moving further we will try to understand what this internationalization means uh, these are the techniques for developing applications that support multiple languages and various kinds of data format uh, without having to rewrite the actual programming logic or the business in internationalization basically we need to show the different labels and messages for different languages in our site now java already provides support for internationalization and struts makes use of that feature and provides easy message handling one thing to note is that even if we are developing a monolingual site we should take advantage of struts to message handling generally an internationalized application stores its labels and messages in the properties file for each of its locale so what is a locale a locale is a combination of the country code and the language code now each properties file contains key value pairs now keys are always strings and values could be strings or it could be result of any expression we will have one properties file for each locale and each property file will have the same keys but values would be different now these properties files are sometimes called resource bundle or message resources there are several ways to access these message resources like by calling get text method from the action class or even we can call it from our jsp in jsp we can access the message resource entries by using the key attribute of the ui tags by using the label attribute of the ui tags or by using the value attribute of the property tag now there are separate set of tags specially for accessing the message resources and they are the text and the i18n tag we will see each one of them from our book auto web application example first we need to set up one jsp which is a result of some action class like to log get the login page we created this login action element what we need to do is we need to create an action class for this which will just return success so we'll get the login page through that action class and then we need to create one properties file corresponding to that action class in the same directory where the action class resides now once that jsp will be rendered then it can refer to the properties file for that action class in this video we are mostly going to see the ways we can access the message resources in some subsequent video we are going to see the internationalization in action where i will show how our site can support multiple languages so first thing let's modify our stress.xml for this login action so that it goes through an action class name it as login action now let's create this login action from action support in this class we will have one execute method and we will return success from here okay now let's create one properties file in the same directory where we created this login action The name should be login action dot properties. Should be the action class name dot properties. Let's put few entries for labels for our user ID and password. So in our login page we have two labels, user ID and password. What we'll try to do, we will try to fetch those labels 
from this properties file instead of just hard coding it in our GSP or in our action class. So let's put the key as user dot id equals let's make it your user id user id user dot password plus your password now the first thing which we are going to see is how to access those resources from our action class so let's add some code to access the message resource entries from our action class we will just do a sysout uh, of those entries so let's see how to do that now struts has provided one get text method to access these resources so inside the execute method we will call this method and and print out the resource from the resource bundle uh, i mean the login action dot properties so let's do a sysout inside the sysout we'll print out the user id is user id label is call a get text it requires a string here so we will just pass the key name this one is the key just pass it here let's build this project and test it out let's run it on the server Okay, now to test this login action, just hit this login from our book auto here. So we are able to fetch the resource from our message resource bundle. We are able to fetch the label your user ID from the login action dot properties here, and uh, we just print it out uh, in our execute method. So our get text method is working fine. So this is the method which is basically used to fetch the resources from the message resource files the same method we can actually use in our JSP as well so we'll see that now let's do one thing let's open the login.jsp and try to modify the login.jsp so in this login.jsp login we have one text field we have one password and they have labels and these labels are hard coded in this form what we'll do we'll try to fetch the lab these labels from the properties file instead of hard coding here so what are the different ways we can access these resources from the JSP now what we have to do we have to call the same get text method from the label here label attribute here inside the percentage curly brace get text it requires the key Key we can give in the single quotes user dot id. Similarly, the same thing we can do for password as well. We have to call the method from the percentage curly brace get text and pass the key in the single quotes user dot password. Okay, now let's build this and test it out. now let's run this again here now we should be able to fetch uh, these labels your user id and your password in our login page here instead of user id and password which we had hard coded in our jsp so let's try to run this so you can see here uh, we are able to get those labels your user id and your password from the login action of properties and we did that by calling the get text method from the percentage curly brace from our label attribute we can also use the property tag to access the resource it is similar to what we did here in our label attribute let's try to see how we can use the property tag to access the uh, message resource so what we'll do in the body at the top of the login page we will have a welcome message so we'll use this property tag to get that welcome message from the properties file so property value equals percentage curly brace get text value 
let's name it as welcome dot message okay now let's add this key in our properties file we'll give it value as hello user build this we'll test it out okay now let's run this here okay so we are able to get that welcome message as well from our properties file using the property tag and calling the get text method from its value attribute okay now there are few more ways by which we can access uh, these message resources struts2 has provided few more tags especially to access these message resources and those are text tag and the i18n tag so let's check the text tag first it is actually equivalent to calling the get text from the property tag uh, let's see that let's remove this now we'll use the text tag to access that welcome message there we just need in the name attribute we just need to provide the key Uh, this is like equivalent to calling the get text method from the property tag let's see how it works let's make it welcome user this time let's run this test it out okay, let's run this yeah so we are able to get that welcome user using the text tag so this is one more way to access the message resource entries from our properties file now we can even pass some parameter to this text tag now suppose we have one key in properties file which requires some parameter so suppose instead of hard coding like this we will have some parameter like this so this requires some parameter here and that parameter needs to be passed from our text tag so we can pass some parameter here and that parameter will be passed in this properties file and this thing will be replaced by the parameter which we passed from our text tag so let's see how to do that let's move this here and then inside this we can have something called s param then let's put it as guest so now what what it will do it will fetch this welcome dot message and then in this placeholder it will pass this parameter and replace this with with the guest so we'll, we're going to get something like welcome guest okay, let's see let's test this out build the project okay run this okay now you can see that we are getting welcome guests so from our text tag we pass this parameter guest and this replaced this placeholder here and it printed out welcome guest now here in the parameter we can even pass some dynamic values so instead of just hard coding as guest what we can do inside the parameter we can uh, try to access some some field from our action class like as property value equals visitor okay now this visitor field should be present in this login action class and then whatever value will be there in that field same value will be passed here in this text tag and it will replace this placeholder and accordingly we'll get the message so i'm not going to test uh, that thing you guys can go ahead and try that for now next thing is to check the i18n tag now i18n tag is used to provide some other resource bundle so using i18n tag we can actually override the default properties file which we are using right now we can actually give some other resource name as well using the i18n tag so let's see how we can use the i18n tag to access some other resource properties file instead of the default login action dot properties let's have one more tag here i18n in the name attribute we need to give the name of the resource bundle which we want to access we can give something like this com slash book auto 
slash actions slash custom now the thing to note here is that we need not provide dot properties extension here in this name attribute just give the name of the file without the dot properties extension here but we have to give the full path of the file now let's create this custom properties file let's create in this folder itself Let's create an entry like custom dot message equals welcome user. Okay, now let's try to access this key here from inside our i18 tag. Inside our i18 tag, we can again use the text tag to access the message resource. So i18 tag is just basically used to provide another properties file and after we selected the properties file using the i18 tag we can use the normal text tag to access the resource entries in that properties file as we did here in our default properties file. Now let's build this and test it out. Okay, now let's run this. Let's put a break here. Okay, so we are able to get that welcome user from our custom dot properties file as well using the i18 n tag. So in this video, what we have done, we have covered the basic ways of accessing the message resource bundle and its entries from our JSP and from our action class. So this is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.